What's up, guys? I'm the gaming here, back with another video. Today, I want to talk about Dallas Cowboys beat team, the Minnesota Vikings last night in Minnesota with Cooper Rush. But before I get to the stats and everything, I'm going to give Minnesota their props. Uh, they held us uh, for the first half, really. Um, they showed a lot of effort. They played really good, the Vikings did. Um, I felt uh, we definitely should have and did win that game. Uh, and there was no excuse to lose it um, at that point. I felt that this was a huge game to uh, uh, to win, I felt. Um, and we got it done. We got the job done, and that's what that's what's really important is we got the job done. Um, now, our next step, basically, uh, in the direction to the Super Bowl is um, basically win games without Prescott because we can't listen we can't always rely on Dak Prescott for things and that's the thing I am highly worrying about is we are relying way too much on Dak Prescott and Cooper Rush showed in this game we're going to go over his stats in a minute which I feel is just incredible um I feel they're just nuts, but honestly, if Cooper Rush continues to play like this, we're going to win a lot of games. Uh, Mike McCarthy had better time management this game. I want to say that more. He had better time management this game. I'd like to see that. Time management is important. Um, we got to keep time management going. Uh, that's a huge factor, huge factor, time management, and I'm glad he got that figured out, so, we're, we're getting to that stage where now we're a contender, uh, and we're a huge, huge contender, and then out the NFC, um, we won, we beat a defense, good, very good defense without our starter, and here's a, if that doesn't speak contention for Super Bowl, I don't know what does, because this team really it's just I, I work hmm. this team really aggravates me sometimes, but when we win it feels so good because it shows we want to win, that we want to play very good and it shows that and I feel we are playing very good right now. Very good football right now, I feel. Um, do I feel like we could get better? Yeah, some areas, yeah, good. Uh, but, hey, listen, a win's a win. Um, it's what it is. I'm going to take it, and we'll see what happens next week for Denver. I don't know. We'll go. I'll go over there in the preview for that game. Um, coming up this week, but I don't know if I'm Dallas if I play Cooper Rush or if I play Dak Prescott. Now I I am tempted to say play Dak Prescott. I am very tempted to say that. Very tempted say that um I don't know because it's we won everybody thought when we started Cooper Rush that we were going to lose and honestly we didn't so hey that's that so uh, I'll have we'll go over that and the Cowboys Broncos pretty few we should 100% either way Win that football game versus the Broncos. Um, Broncos have really degraded this season. Started off hot and then really fell off. Like honestly, to be fair, I shouldn't be that shocked. 
since it's we're talking about the Denver Broncos, so you know, it's what it is. But um, just so many good teams. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the stats here in a minute. Um, let's go and get into the stats real quick. Uh, so Cooper Rush passing. Went 24 for 40, 325 yards passing, two TDs, one INT, one fumble. Cedric Wilson had a pass late in the third quarter, one for one, 35 yards. Um, so, yeah, that happened. So, Cooper Rush was outstanding tonight. I felt he played great because... Uh, my expectations coming into this game, knowing Dak wasn't playing, was extremely low. Um, honestly, I wasn't expecting much. Uh, and that's unfortunate. But I wasn't expecting much. And what did we do? Come to this game, Cooper Rush plays like this. We're always going to win. Our defense, they played great. They played amazing uh, this game. And I felt they really had a good game. This game. Um, so, yeah. Russian. Elliot had 16 carries for 50 yards. He averaged 3.1 yards a carry. Tony Pollard had 7 carries, 26 yards, 3.7 yards a carry. And Cooper Rush ran the ball once for 2 yards and averaging 2 yards a carry. So, we did not, we went for running a lot yes, last night. And really, in a way, I guess you could say it didn't pay off. Because we didn't have a great running game. But, but our passing and our defense backed that up. So, glad to see that at least. Um, but, uh, such to say this, to get this off my chest. This is a big win. Um, this is a statement win. This is statement, statement win for the Cowboys. Um, shows that they really can be a contender this season. Receiving, Cooper had eight receptions for 122 yards, 15.2 average, and one TD. 15.2 yards. Good Lord. Um, C.D. Lamb, six receptions, 112 yards, 18.7 average in zero TDs. Cedric Wilson, three receptions, 84 yards, 28 yards average, one TD. Elliott, of course, had four, 23 yards, 5.8. And then, yeah. Defense. We really didn't do much on defense. Um, Michael Parsons played good. Ten tackles, one assist. Um, Randy Gregory with a sack, uh, but that was the only sack we averaged. Um, no turnovers by the Vikings this game. But this was a really good game for the Cowboys. Um Kirk Cousins went 22 for 36, 184 yards on the TD. Uh, Justin Jefferson, I, I don't know what they were trying there. Uh, they tried to pass it, and honestly, yeah, mm, didn't work too well. Um, but yeah, the Cowboys win it. 20-16, to 16. Uh, I felt this is a win that we needed to get and we got, which is very fortunate. Um, they weren't playing their A game. Let's be honest here. They weren't playing on their, they weren't playing their best game, the Vikings. Uh, so this win means a lot for us. So I felt this is a big win, like I've been saying. And we'll see what happens next week. And yeah, guys.
That's all I got to say about it. I felt it was an amazing win. I was so hyped. And go Cowboys. One more thing. How about them Cowboys? Alright guys. See ya. MD Gaming sign out. Peace guys.